Hello again, and welcome back to Physical Therapy Tips and Tricks for Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy, brought to you by Duchenne Therapy Network and Cure Duchenne as part of the Duchenne Education Series. I am Jennifer Wallace, physical therapist and owner at Duchenne Therapy Network. And once again, I have with me today Kevin Phillips, our local seating and mobility specialist, to help explain some of the more advanced options for power wheelchairs. Proper seating support is critical, especially at a time when a client with Duchenne is starting to spend more time in the seated position. There's a window of time when if that seating is set up appropriately, you can help your child or yourself to seat in a posture that's healthy and can keep you functioning for many years to come. We're going to watch Jennifer now show some of the tendencies that are common to children with Duchenne's and then we'll talk about what kind of seating products can help to counter those so that they don't become destructive tendencies. So the posture that you see really commonly with younger boys or boys who are still walking who have Duchenne is this forward posture with a big arch in the back which may have helped them accomplish walking for a longer period of time and it was okay as long as they were able to come in and out of it when they were sitting. Once this posture becomes an issue is when they begin sitting for more of the day and this forward posture here is really difficult and nearly impossible to seat well in a wheelchair because we can't offer much support for the front of the body to keep it from going further and further forward. Instead we want them back in the seating that can be built specially for them. We all have tendencies um, to rest on one side or the other and then especially if you don't have the amount of strength that it takes to sit upright um, or you don't have the built-in support in the chair that you need, what you might find is that you shift more often to one side versus the other, making the pelvis asymmetrical or uneven, and the spine will follow the, where the pelvis is. Or uh, it also might be that you're leaning one side or the other. If you like to lean on the armrest, now the spine is out of alignment to one side or the other, pelvis is uneven, and you know, uh, especially with profound weakness, scoliosis is something that we have to try to prevent and not allow it to stay or progress. Also, what you might see is the pelvis leaning too far forward or too far back, which we call a lordotic curve or like a sacral sitting. So when the pelvis is uh, really far back, you're sitting in a rounded spine like this. And when the pelvis is too far forward, you can see that there's an extra emphasis there's an arch in the back there and we want to prohibit e either one and try to maintain neutral as well as possible for as long as possible. So Jennifer just talked through a little bit of the physiology of seating and why it's so important to have good support early on. Many of the power wheelchairs available with the seating that comes on it is very well designed to give good symmetrical support that can keep you healthy. As Jennifer was mentioning and I'm going to demonstrate it here if the tendency that the client develops is to sit back into a support, then that support can give very nice upright posture without having to use any of the body muscles to do that. One example of why that can work so well is uh, this particular backrest which has a nice rounded contour and adjustable uh, lumbar support that can be changed to match whatever the particular user's need is. If that is combined with powered seating that allows me to change my seat angle so that I'm sitting back behind the line of gravity, then I can sit up very nicely and stay that way throughout the day. When it's time to eat or do some other function forward, I can simply bring the power recline forward so that I can function up and uh, ahead of myself. And it might be okay for periods of time to slouch or to sit forward but if the common tendency that my chair promotes is being able to sit back into a good contoured supportive surface, then I'm going to stay healthy and be able to maintain good posture alignment. Now, if a child, your child or a user has developed some postural asymmetry that needs more aggressive support, there are custom seating products, orthotic seat systems that can be attached to any of these wheelchairs to counteract those tendencies and maintain better midline alignment. This is an example of a custom molded orthotic seat system. When standard off-the-shelf seating products with a symmetrical shape aren't enough to keep your child or yourself in the uh, postural alignment that you prefer, then this type of product can be custom designed to fit your body and hold you in a position 
that is healthy and allows you to do uh, much more function. The design of the system is such that the lateral support, the back shell and all, can hold the trunk in good alignment and the seat system is firm yet contoured to your body so that it can really give good pelvic alignment, uh, protect bony parts so that you don't get uh, issues with skin breakdown and, and some of these products breathe very well too to keep the skin cool and dry. If uh, the aggressive postural support is needed to help you to be able to function, it's nice to know these kind of products are available. When using a standard joystick requires too much force to be effective, it's good to know there's a lot of other options for how you can control your wheelchair and your environment. This is an example of one. It's called a mini joystick by HMC. And with just a couple grams of force, to deflect that joystick, you can drive a chair. It's very effective, for example, when used uh, with a thumb to move it. It can be used as a lip switch. And this joystick can be used not only to drive the chair, but the output can be channeled through your chair and out to control for a computer, uh, control for the seating, control an iPad or an iPhone. All those things can be done uh, so that you can maintain your independence. Now another option, if there isn't su uh, sufficient uh, access or function to use this joystick, and uh, this is just one of several options, is fiber optics. A fiber optic cable can be set up close to where you have a little bit of movement. It could be here, for example, on a finger. As your finger moves close to that fiber optic switch, it triggers the switch, and this and other switches, uh, depending on what sites you have movement at, can also do the same thing for chair control, computer, iPad, environmental controls, all of those things. This can also be used, for example, near the cheek with a puff or wherever you might have movement that can make your chair drive. There are many more switches available. Here are a few samples. Technology is constantly improving use and access with switches for mobility and daily living. As Kevin mentioned, many of the switches can be programmed to not only operate the power wheelchair, but also to wirelessly control a computer, an iPhone, or environmental controls within your home. At the end of this video are some references for these devices and their manufacturers. Cure Duchenne and Duchenne Therapy Network, thank you for watching. Please feel free to send any questions or comments to the addresses above. Subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for future video blogs. Bye!